They're here. Two players. Yeah, I've got one bullet. Players, I'm players. I'm out. Tough dude. Bullets, mate. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Man, I've missed saying that. Uh, it's good to be back and I am here to put more reviews up on different games. Uh, they could be either new, they could either be somewhat out of early access or even early access. So let's start off with a game called Hunt the Showdown. Hunt the Showdown is a first-person multiplayer competitive shooter game, which is very unforgiving sometimes. Wow. Most of the time, really. You, as the bounty hunter, must kill a mythical monster in order to claim the bounty and survive long enough to reach the extraction point. However, there are other players hunting the same thing as you and looking for clues to its whereabouts. So if you do come across them, be prepared to fight. If the character you pick does not make it and ends up getting shot, they will die permanently. No coming back, no getting them back. End of. So, there is some really cool things to talk about in this game, so let's start off with the basics, really. So, you got your original, you got your bounty hunter, your player's up to uh, two, and now they've recently added three, which is uh, quite a surprise. There's also a quick match where you can go out, uh, I think it's a different game mode style. I haven't checked it out, I'll be quite honest with you. I believe it's the same process. Then you got the trials runs. Uh, it's like a race around the map. Um, I haven't probably d I've done it a few times of that and I kept getting killed so I gave up on that for a bit. And then you've got training mode which I will strongly recommend you guys to start off first. Get them all done so you get those blood bonds. And of course you've got the contracts which at the moment are really nothing because they're under random contracts to find. Uh, I believe if they I, I personally think if they did do the uh, contracts there and put, put different types of monsters in, I don't think those players would go to it. So there, so in the in the bounty hunt game mode, you can either play as solo or go in as duo with your friend. And when you get on the island or map, um, you'll be greeted with a huge amount of area, like an old dark country western farmland. Like by the infection, which uh, I still don't know much about. Um, literally roaming zombies with weapons, really. Uh, there are many other different crazy, scary monsters, um, which we'll get into in a second. So, um, you do have this ability, as every hunter should, and that is the dark vision. So, when you uh, activate the dark vision, everything will go into a black and white, and you'll see like these blue firefly-like things. Uh, roaming around areas, and there will be your clue locations. The cool thing on this game is the uh, the atmosphere around it. If you've got a 7.1 surround sound, it's going to be perfect because you're going to hear those noises. And if you hear, like, say from a distance, uh, crows or birds flying up, um, you'll know there'll be a player nearby because they'll be the only people that will uh, make that noise. I know it sounds a bit weird, but... Yeah, you, you're, you need to get your senses up on this game. That's one thing I can say about it. <laughs> As well as the infected, there are different um, creatures in the game. Uh, there are also different monsters around the entire map as you're exploring to find these clues. There are armored. Uh, that's all they're called because they're in like this shell. I would strongly recommend 
If, if I was you, I would strongly recommend a incinerary shotgun that would take him out or just constantly shoot him. But then you're going to be making more noise than ever, which is another pain. Um, you've also got the hive, which is a, a woman like split into like this hive thing. And if you get too close, she'll spawn a load of these poison bugs, which man, poison's a nightmare. Cause you, it, your vision goes blurry. Your you can't use your health kit and that's horrible. And then the next one, we got the immortalators. They're very new, I believe. And they are annoying as hell. So they're literally walking, rotting flesh of, of on fire. Of a, of a thing and if it sees you it will run right after you and will burn you and the burning in the game is horrible which we will get into in a minute and then we got the meatheads literal walking flesh meats with leeches on them and uh, they're mainly around the farmland bits and they're also another thing to worry about uh, they're pretty hard to take out but they're Really not as bright, so you could probably sneak around them. The other, another thing is you got to watch out the leeches. I know when I shot a leech, that thing got really angry and decided to chase after me out of the out of the farm. Then we got the most annoying thing in the game: our hellhounds, because they don't just come in one; they come in packs of five. They're just these undead dog things. Um, the name says says it: hellhounds, because they're absolutely annoying, and i tell you one thing about those hellhounds, if you're trying to take five of them out and then you've got a hunter taking out, trying to take you out, that is where I draw the line of it being so BS. <laughs> and then we got the water devils, which is highly war like, warning lights all over the water. If you see a little ripples in the water, don't go in the water and be a hero and try and take it out. The thing will rip you to shreds until there's nothing left. And uh, that's, all, that's just the main like exploration now you've got targets which are the mythical monsters you need to hunt so let's come up to our first one and it's called the butcher it's a giant walking meat of with hooks and the, can, that can do fire damage and also has this crazy frenzy mode that will literally <laughs> run after you um, I'm not gonna give you down the details or the tips I'm probably gonna put that in another video I'm just going to describe the enemies at the moment now we're coming up to the second one which is the spider and that I have to admit and I think from everyone's point of view it's the creepiest one so far especially the spider Speed on it, right? The speed is insane, dude. <laughs> it really is. My show! Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. It's right behind me. It's right behind me. And then we've got the assassin. Well, you know what? I actually love fighting the assassin because uh, it's literally just like these bugs with a rotten corpse and it can go. It can disappear and you can feel the bugs and then it can come up behind you with blades and then try and cut you up. Uh, it also has another ability where you can split in, it can split into two, uh, which makes it even more interesting. I like fighting that. That's been one of my favorite things to fight so far in the game. And I, yeah, I, I like it. It keeps going invisible and then coming back. Oh yeah. on me and now we got the final one which is a recently new monster target to fight and it has a kind of a cool um, origin backstory uh, in one of the trailers of it I believe he used to be a soldier um, in the I guess this is it the Civil War and then um, he lost both his legs something happened and then two years later he became scrap beak and it's a giant well, yeah what guy I can describe as a giant uh, feathery loot monster that has all sorts of weapons stuck on him or you know or he carries like an axe and stuff and I think he's one of the easiest ones to fight so far um, very easy actually <laughs> yeah he's, he's, he's one of the easiest ones to fight so far and I have no problem killing it all right and now we're going to talk about what happens after you've taken out the target. Now, we, you have a certain timer to banish it. So while that's going, you've got other online players knowing where that exact location is. And they are pretty relentless coming after you. 
So you're gonna have to be defensive and you have to wait in the in the area and try not to get killed by them because they can steal your bounty. They can steal it. They're here. Two players. Yeah, I've got one bullet. I'm out. Players. I'm out. Bullets, mate. <laughs> Dude, I fucking nearly bashed him. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Oh, they're 100% rage for it. So just make sure you're prepared anything traps and doorways um if, if i give you any tip and at all if there's a barn or a house where it has a uh like locked from the inside don't unlock it because you can use that as an escape rope and yeah pretty good pretty good once you collect the bounty you have to get to one of the closest or uh, uh, furthest extraction points to get out of the game and win the game to survive with that being said you do get a gift after picking up the bounty. Number one, your health gets replenished, even if the ones you, uh, health bars you cannot replenish or replenish. Uh, second of all, your dark sight will be increased so you can see players around the map if they're coming towards you or, you know, in the bush and you can use that and you'll see like a yellow glow. Uh, another cool thing, you only have five seconds, so use them sparingly and willingly. I need a weapon! Yeah. That way did much. There's two of them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no, yeah, I got him! I blew him up! <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I hit the barrel behind him and blew him up. Oh, there's more. I think so. Yeah. Oh my god, I killed two of them. You see them? Oh, okay. He shot me when he had been picked around properly. Fine. See the way it was. Definitely moved now. Alright, well. He didn't even peek all the way, he still managed to shoot me. Can you cover while I heal quick? Yeah. Got him. So if your character dies, it will half the experience points until you reach rank 11. When you get to rank 11, that's where the brutal of the game begins. Because if your character dies, you won't be able to get him back. Nope, nope, nope. Um, you won't be able to revive him. He he's dead. So you'll have to recruit a new hunter. Uh, with that being said, there are procedurally randomly generated hunters, uh, which you would pick. And, you and if you don't like any of the four which has been offered to you, you can reshuffle them. Uh, first one's free, next one's using these things called blood bombs, which we'll get into when we talk about the legendary stuff. Remember, level him past 25 will set him to retire, so you can set him to just retire and you'll get like a, a huge bonus XP. But if you want to keep pushing it and getting a lot higher level, then uh, good luck for that. Let's now get down to the weapons. Now! I tell you what, you've got some sick arsenal of weapons, like proper western country style. There's no machine guns, um, there are literally semi-automatic pistols, single action revolvers, rifles, bolt action rifles, one shot burst shotguns, two shot burst, pump action shotguns, uh, traps, health and everything. Now, I know that's a lot to say and I didn't really clearly say that, but it's you, you need to experience 
the weapon. So if you use uh, a, 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 a model of a weapon, you can end up getting uh, different like versions of that weapon. So say for instance, I had a single action shotgun and I start using it. And then I ended up leveling it up enough, like to get uh, use it a little bit more to unlock the uh, shotgun with axe built in. Or if you're a rifle person, uh, you can either get a rifle which has, uh, you know, after using that rifle, you can either get it to have loads of ammo, uh, faster rate of fire, with a scope, uh, and so on. Or even with a uh, melee weapon on it. Uh, with that being said, also comes with the perks. When uh, again, when we said when you leveled up, you can use you can upgrade your character by putting perks on it, so you could get like um, uh, a perk called Fanning, which uh, which if you've got a revolver, instead of just shooting slow and reloading it, you can literally like <laughs> you can literally go proper cowboy western rapid fire shooting. Um, I've done that. I did that actually yesterday, and that was really good. And you got other perks that will help you. Uh, throughout the game itself, like from weapons using, it changes like the character's perspective of using a weapon. Uh, I'm gonna, they did add a new thing on the game, which is uh, bullet types now. I love that, by the way. I absolutely love that. Different bullet types so you can get incendiary rounds, you can get poison bullets, you can get exploding bullets, you can get uh, high velocity bullets, you can get slot mate, there is loads. And again, the more you use that weapon or equipment or tool, the more you'll get different types and it expands to different things. Think of it as a as a family tree of weapons, <laughs> you know? Uh, it can it can go to different reaches to different places, I guess. I think that's the best way to put it. Although the game is really, really good, it is unforgiving. <laughs> and uh, when I say unforgiving, the amount of times you will die in that game is unreal. So just keep that in mind. Um, try not to get upset too much. Uh, it's not Escape from Tarkov death, but it's still pretty brutal. I think like PvP fighting is really fair, I gotta say. That is really, really fair and Again, brutal as well. We've covered all that. Uh, we're going to cover down to the the blood bonds we discussed earlier. Uh, the blood bonds are like currency in the game. They I don't know why they added microtransactions on the game. It's not worth it, especially for a game that is thirty five pounds. It's not really like worth having blood bonds. But however, you can earn it in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so there's no fault in that. At least you're earning blood bonds in the game. With these uh, blood bonds, you can. I keep saying blood bonds. I think blood bounds or something. These coins, I would say, <laughs> uh, can get you legendary characters, legendary items. Now the character, the character recruitment is like all procedurally randomly generated. Uh, legendary ones are ones that will be stuck with that character, you know, forever. Their their perk, their stance, but they will not have any equipment. They're a bit more expensive. Uh, if you think about adding all the equipment to that character. But they're the uh, the legendary ones you can get back anytime you want. Uh, the next ones are the, the the skins actually. The skins are pretty cool looking. There are loads of different skins and they're not too expensive, most of them ain't. So you can earn it in the game and have it in your pocket. Depending what what's your favorite weapon, there are many for anyone and they're not, it's not like, um, it's not like when you play a game, one gun might be better after the next level. It's yeah, it's whatever you use and how you how it feels for you. Um, that's why I like about hunt because you could use any other gun and it could be your it could be your golden gun, you know, your favorite gun. And even no matter how high higher level you are, you can still use that gun. So we are looking at thirty five pound ninety nine. Uh, remember, I, I paid only £20 for it when it was on Early Access. Now it's out of Early Access. Um, I believe... Uh, I need to rewrite a review on this game because when I first played this game, it was absolutely horrible. But now, it's really, really good. And I love it. I'm really enjoying this game. And this game itself is a different pace to first-person shooter games I've played. So, I like this kind of new pasty system where you go and bounty hunt something and then try and get out of there because everyone else is coming after you. Um, yeah, it, it's a different pace to all the first person shooter games I've played as for like... If I'll be honest with you, first person games nowadays just meh me. I think after Destiny, kind of uh... Just... just I, I, yeah, it just made me 
feel like I don't think there's going to be a good game. But Hunt is a nice new pace of first-person shooter competitive, and or any high-intense game I've played. You know, every every time we start in a game, we all pretty much get freaked out and like we're all on edge, which is really really cool. And uh, yeah, that's that's Hunt. Um, it's been a while since we've done any reviews on the MGN, and I have missed you guys so much. Um, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Mate, the, the people, the community, have been absolutely wonderful on here so far. I've seen all the comments. I, I try and reply as much as I can. And honestly, I'm happy to be back. This is one of my first one videos I've done in a long time, so... Bit rusty, I'll get better. Don't forget to subscribe to the MGN channel. We are hitting it now, and the website is absolutely looking amazing. So don't forget to check out any more guides, hints, and tips on the MGN.tv. Um, all the links will be down in the description. Uh, my channel is there. Uh, we play some random games. Uh, <laughs> and, um,. And we also have a Discord as well, so feel free to chat to either me or Bixi because, uh, man, we are really kicking it up. We've got a lot of projects, a lot of plans happening, and uh, we would love to hear your feedback. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm still here, and I'll be here. You take care, and have a wonderful day.